Um, our next question is uh, from Essa Hariri. He says, Hey guys, I see a trend in Real Madrid where players and media get too impatient about bench players. In Manchester City, and over several years, we see Mares, Bernardo, Sterling, etc. all on the bench, and almost no turmoil. In Manchester United, Van de Beek is on the bench. In Barca, freaking Pjanic on the bench. Dembele, Griezmann, etc. Why is it that any Real Madrid teenager who sits two games on the bench has to leave? Brahim Diaz, Odegaard, Vinicius, Kovacic, James, Isco, etc. Why does every player have to start? Well, the 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 whole conversation changes if we are talking about players like James or Isco, for example, or if we're talking about Brahim, Odegaard, Vinicius, or, or even Jovic uh, at the time. To me, these are players who need minutes to develop. And they cannot be compared to Mares or, or Bernardo or Sterling or even Van de Beek or Pjanic. Th- those players I, I just mentioned are finished products. I mean, they, they they have contributed already in Champions League football. Van de Beek reached the the Champions League quarterfinals, semifinals. I don't know, and he and he's the the most unproven players of the of the whole bunch I, I just mentioned. So it's not the same for about uh, Brahim or the guy or Vinicius or. Or Rodrigo, or these players who seem to be rumored to be on the on their way out of Real Madrid just to play more minutes uh, elsewhere. Because again, these guys need to develop. They need minutes, and it's not like this is not like okay, Real Madrid signed a, a proven player and and he's sitting on the bench. So what a shame! This is not this 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 kind of conversation. I mean, we're talking about players who need minutes to develop and reach their potential. And uh, at the end of the day, this is something Real Madrid invested on. They, they invested on their potential, not on not on the things they could do on the field today. So they they're kind of they're kind of wasting years of their development. And, and, and at the end of the day, maybe uh, forcing players to to not, not reach the the potential and the ceiling they had. So it's not to me, it's not the, the entirely same discussion here. I agree with you, and I, I disagree with the general narrative of the question. And as is always the case when I disagree with a comment or question that comes in, I, I try my very, very best to see that angle that it's coming from, to see if I can alter my view or at least see that perspective. And I had a lot of difficulty seeing eye to eye with this. So I did a little quick, very it's not a deep dive. It's like it took me about five minutes maybe to just to go through all the minutes from the players mentioned in this list. Riyad Mahrez's lowest minute season at Manchester City, 1,727 minutes in the 2018-19 season. Bernardo Silva's lowest minutes tally, over 2,000 minutes in the 17-18 season. Raheem Sterling's lowest tally was back in 2012-2013, that, and he had 1,936 minutes. And these minutes don't even, don't even factor um, the cup games. They only factor Champions League and the league games. Um, the Van de Beek situation is is just different, I guess, because he plays the same position as Bruno, and Bruno is just better. And then you also have to factor in the whole Pogba thing, and then the fact that Solskjaer wants to incorporate McTominay and whatever. Um, the other one was um, what? What was the other? One? Oh, the the Barca ones. Like Pjanic is just at a stage of his career, like he doesn't qualify as someone who you know kind of in the in the trend of the the young narrative i guess yeah. the the young players and also because in my opinion he he pooch is better than him at this stage of their career i, I pooch and pedri like the, and pedri's playing at such a high level they have the young this just different and also barca just made a stupid decision um they they put themselves in a situation where for financial reasons they had to do this last second exactly. flex to sell arthur and get pianich and also dembele yeah. plays when he's healthy he doesn't get bench griezmann is playing a lot of minutes um, and then the minutes in the Real Madrid list are just different. Like these guys are just scra- scraping like for a hundred, two hundred minutes if they can if they're with Real Madrid. So that's why Brahim has to go out on loan. Martin Odegaard, I think he was at two hundred minutes. Let me check. Yeah, two hundred minutes, three three appearances, um, or three starts rather. I think four appearances. It's just scraping by, and he's he's an established La Liga player. I think it's just a different situation. Um, James had a big justification to just play more. Um, and Isco, his situation is just this weird enigma which we've covered. Kovacic is one. So the Kovacic one is a little bit more interesting to me because, and by the way, Vinicius also doesn't fall in this category for me because Vinicius is still a teenager and he's actually playing. Like he's actually playing um, quite a bit given um, just his age and stuff. I think he has a case. I don't think he has much of a case to complain. I think he's playing enough. 
But uh, but with Kovacic is interesting because Kovacic was actually playing quite a bit. Like you know, despite being in a situation where he was backing out Modric and Kroos, which is pretty much the most unfortunate situation for any central midfielder to be in, where you have to play and compete with Modric and Kroos. But he was still playing a lot because of suspensions and injuries and rest and rotations and stuff. Um, not initially under Zidane, but later as um, kind of that marriage between Zidane and Kovacic unraveled, it became appear, uh, it became clear that Zidane was going to use him and he used him quite a bit. Mm-hmm. And then he went to Chelsea and he was in a situation where he wasn't even playing over Ross Barkley at some point. He was like second or third off the bench. But then he became important again for Chelsea, and he's happy there. But I think Kovacic, Kovacic, you know, that's just a situation where I don't even know if I call it impatience, Lucas. And I don't, inf- I don't fault players for feeling like they just wanted to play somewhere different. Like I don't, I don't hold that against them. I don't hold it against Kovacic to want to play in Chelsea. I don't hold it against Marcos here to want to play at Atleti. So I also think that they are allowed to feel a certain way. They just want to play somewhere else and. They can play somewhere else, whether that's impatience or a change of scenery that they want. That's fine. I also, you know, I'm not, I can't remember exactly how you feel about it, but with Odegaard, I was always, to, I always took the stance that he has every right to go and just want to play more. I, I don't think it's fair to label him impatient. Mm. 